Kathleen Johnson. I work at Prairie Lights Bookstore, and of course that means I really like to read, but I don't have time to read all the time, or I would weigh 30 pounds more than I do, and I would never get my dishes done. Plus, it's also fun to color with crepas or whatever else you like to do while you listen to audiobooks. I forgot to say that. Audiobooks. That's where I was going with this. Um, there are several really good ones out right now. Um, we'll start with Tina Fey, who we know from Saturday Night Live and from her TV show, 30 Rock. Um, if you've picked up this book, it's hilarious. Um, by listening to it, you also get her great comedic timing. Um, she's a funny woman, and it's a hilarious book. You might not want to listen to it while you're doing something in public, like working out or whatever, because you're going to be laughing until you know, your sweat comes out your nose. Another good choice, not funny, but very good mystery, is Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter by Tom Franklin. Um, it's read by Kevin Kennerly, who's able to do both of the main character voices. It's really good southern kind of crime fiction, but also very literary. Okay, and there's The Help, um, best-selling book, a very popular movie. What I like best about reading the book is that every time I opened it up, I felt like I was right in there gossiping with those mean ladies. And listening to it, you have a multicast recording, you've got four really good actors, and not only was I a part of it, but it was like being at the table with them. It was just terrific. David Sedaris, this lesser known, live for your listening pleasure. You might notice how much pleasure this fella is getting from listening to this David Sedaris. It's just got a few tracks on it. It's got Cat and Baboon, which is from um, his little collection of fables, Author, Author, Innocence Abroad, Laugh Kookaburra, and Diary Entries. So it's sort of a sampler for somebody who already has a lot of Sedaris's work. Visit from the Goon Squad. Won the Pulitzer. I knew I would never get around to reading it. So I got the audiobook, and um, it's got everything. It's got shoplifting, it's got sex, it's got rock and roll and the realization that we've all got a boring middle-aged person inside of us. Very good listen. Sarah Vowell, Unfamiliar Fishes. This one's about Hawaii, another one of her hilarious takes on history in that high squeaky little voice that we all love, accompanied by um, comedic actors we also like, like Maya Rudolph and Fred Armisen, Katherine Keener. Well, not that funny, but in this case, funny. The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. If you're wanting to um, learn something, you can learn something about science, cells, and poverty in the American South. So, while most of the time I would rather read the actual books, audiobooks are a way that I'm able to still do something that I really love while I'm doing something that I love slightly less well, like driving, exercising, you get the idea. But I have read, um, with my eyes and my brain, a book that I've very much enjoyed lately. Um, it's a new collection of short stories called The Book of Life by Stuart Nadler. A lot of the stories have to do with family, kind of coming into your own as you mature, and they're told with a nice dark sense of humor. This is a book that will appeal to you if you've liked Adam Hazlitt's um, You Are Not a Stranger Here. Um, they're like Philip Roth short stories without all the um, sort of middle-aged sort of brown tweetiness. So, highly recommend this book. Um, that's all. <laughs>